Okay, so in this video, we're going to get into some some of the basics of uh, data cleaning. A lot of times you want to clean up your data just to make things easier for for your analysis because a lot of times there may be duplicate uh, <clears throat> variables or multiple variables that just don't kind of <clears throat> match up when you want them to and it make your analysis a lot a lot harder to uh, uh, to do. So uh, for this for this exercise, what we're going to do is we're going to use the compare data uh, option to <clears throat> compare some of the variables in our data set, and then we're going to do a quick uh, recode of one of the uh, one of the variables. Okay, so first we have this uh, teacher data, which is, has uh, some info on teachers as far as their base pay, their age, their sex, <clears throat> stuff like that. So what we want to do here is use the compare data to compare a couple couple of our variables within our data set. So if you notice, we have we have base pay right here, and then we also have base pay one ten, and also we have uh, the sex variable and then sex 110 and then we have the tenure variable and its cousin variable the tenure uh, 110 so <clears throat> what we want to do is, do is use the compare data to compare each of the respective variables uh, to, e to each other uh, within this data set so for this we can go into the data drop down menu and we go down to compare data. Okay, so for this, we're comparing variables within this uh, base data set. So uh, by default, the compare variables from base and comparison data set, this option will compare uh, variables from one data set with variables of another data set. But since all of our variables are in one data set, we're going to use the other option, compare variables with, within the same base data set. So we click Next. And the first thing that pops up is there are no variables to compare. So don't freak out, but we have to add our variables. So click OK. And we click New. So by default, the very first variable of the data set will, will pop up. But we can just bring down the drop down menu. <clears throat> and we're going to do base pay. And then we're going to compare it with base pay 110. And we do it for the other variables. So we also have the tenure and tenure 110 variable. So tenure and tenure 110. And then we do new one more time and we have our sex variables. So we have sex <clears throat> and sex 110. Okay, so we go to next. So we want to match these up uh, with the exact. Uh, figures <clears throat> or observations rather um, so right here the method for judging equality uh, by default it's set to relative but for this we're going to use exact exact measurements and so we're going to click next and we can just click finish <clears throat> So this is what pops up. It's a kind of a little summary of a of our variables. So if we come down here to the all variables compared have unequal values, and then we see this little table here. So it has our variable. Uh, we have base pay, tenure, sex, and it has the type of variable they are, numeric or character, and then also their length. And these are being compared to these variables. So the base pay one ten, tenure one ten, sex one ten, and all their uh, all their characteristics as far as like the length stuff like that so and it tells us right here how many are different uh, within within the, the variables so to actually see this we can come down and so first we have our our uh, base pay and our base pay um, 110 and it tell it shows us the uh, observations that that are um, <clears throat> that are different from each other and then same thing with the tenure 110 <clears throat> Once again, we have four that are different, four observations that are different. And then we get to our sex variables. And you can see how they're different. In the sex variable, we have a capital M for male. Sex 110, we have a lowercase m, so they just don't match up. And this may make our analysis <clears throat> a lot more complicated. We may not be able to get, be able to see the, big, the bigger picture in our data set. So now what we want to do is make this more 
more formal of, of a variable. We can get rid of one of our variables, recode another variable just to make it easier for us to actually run our analysis, whatever analysis we decide to run. So now we go back to our data set. And now that we know uh, how our sex variable looks, we can go ahead and uh, where's that? Oh, yeah, <clears throat> Forgot what was that for a second. <clears throat> okay, so we can record our, record our sex variables to make it easier. So we'll go ahead and move for now all of our variables over. I'll just click them all, drag them over, and we go to computed columns, new. Recode column, next, and we want to recode, we'll do our sex variable. Okay, so we can go right here to add and then click the drop down menu and see what values we have to choose from. So we'll start with the male. Okay, so by default we have uppercase M's and, well, uppercase F, uh, F's as well. Uh, so we want to replace this with, we'll do all caps male. And click OK. And there you go. You see we replace M with Mel. Okay, do the same thing for female. So we replace it with all caps female. <clears throat> Click OK. Okay, so also make sure that the column type is going to be a character. And then we click Next. Okay, and we'll call this just sex. Okay, and so <clears throat> we're gonna click next, but you're, it's not gonna look the way we want it to look, and you'll see why. So we click finish. Uh, yes, the variables are already there. Click OK. Close. Okay, so our variables down here. It's called it sex one by default because we already have a sex variable. So we'll just replace. So we can click our sex variable and get, get rid of it. Just click the X here. And then the sex 110, we'll get rid of this one too. Okay, so we go ahead and run this. And here's our new output data set. So we scroll over. And we look at sex, but it's still all caps, uh, female and male, and this is why. Because I know some, some people will run into this problem. So go back to our computer columns. So this is why. Notice the length of our format is only length one, so we can just put 10, just for the heck of it, even though we know uh, it would be shorter than that. So we click Next and Finish, Close, Run. <clears throat> yes, we want to replace. OK, here's our modified output set, and here we go. Now all, everything's been recoded, and we only have one sex variable. So just a quick intro into just some quick data cleaning just to and how to use the compare uh, uh, data option to kind of see uh, what's really going on inside your your uh, 